Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn array list in collections. Okay. I am Professor Dattatre Kandmal from Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. Let us start with this video. What will be the learning outcome in this particular video? Students will be able to describe array list along with various methods. They are also able to write a program using array list. That's an important part of this video. You are able to, you will be able to write your own program. Now coming to description of array list. These are some of the important points in array list that need to be uh, noted. First, array list can contain duplicate elements. Duplicate elements in array list is allowed. Let's say you are entering uh, Sachin twice into an array list, it's allowed. Okay. And it can maintain the insertion order. It, will, it is going to maintain the insertion. Like first you have entered Sachin, then you have entered Rahul, so far. So first Sachin will be stored, then Rahul will be stored. Likewise, the sequence of insertion is taken care of and it is non-synchronized. So uh, array list is also non-synchronized and also in array list random access can be done. Okay, if I want to access a particular location in an array list that can be done. Manipulation is a bit slower in array list but uh, that can be overcome in link list uh, because we need to have shifting kind of things, okay? Link list though doesn't have any shifting. In array list, we need to shift all the elements. Now that is taken care by, by Java, but still uh, time is going to be killed in that particular uh, case. And one more important thing, array list uses a dynamic array, okay? That means its size is going to get increased and decreased as per the need. So they are dynamic in nature, which, ca which takes place at runtime. How you create an array list? These are the steps that need to be taken care of. It can be constructed like this, array list al equal to new array list, or it can be created with some capacity, array list al equal to new array list 20. But capacity is not going to play an important role over here. Uh, let's say you know like, okay, uh, my array list won't be more than 20 elements. That then in that case, you can initiate it, but it is, uh, immaterial okay even you give it you doesn't give it uh, java will take care of that collections will take care of that array list by passing some another uh, collections into it so it can can also be done array list al equal to new array list and passing some collection some other collections object over here you can pass the object directly so whatever collections you have in this some collection object will be directly copied into this collection object al everything will be copied Okay. Now let us start with a simple program in Eclipse uh, on array list. So we'll come to Eclipse. Now how to start with Eclipse? File, new, Java project. Okay, here we are going to give it as collection demo. Okay, and just finish it. Now in collection demo, explore this package on a source, right click, go to new, class file. Here in class file, you are going to name the class file. Well, let us give it as array demo. Okay, you want public static void main? Yes, I want. You can click over here and finish it. So this code will come by default. And as I said, uh, array list or all collections fall under the package Util, java.util, okay. Uh, here in Eclipse, uh, the editor itself will take care of that. Array list al equal to new array list. Okay, here uh, it is giving me red, this red line means there is some error. You click here, okay, it will tell you how it can be re re uh, resolved. Import array list, import array list. Array list has been imported. That's how easy it is, okay? If you want for a specific case, this array list, you can even do that. So here, if I can do that string, so this is this becomes uh, generic and non-generic type. So array list now is of, uh, let me close this, okay, let me minimize this, okay. Array list AL equal to new array list. For what type of data you are going to store here? String data you are going to store over here. Okay, how you are going to add the elements? 
एल डॉट एड एल डॉट एड इज गोइंग टू एड द एलिमेंट ओके लेट से आई वॉन्ट टू एड सचिन सचिन विल बी एडेड टू माई आर एलिस्ट एल डॉट एड सो दिस मेथड विल कम इन एक्लिप्स इट विल गिव यू द पॉसिबल मेथड दैट कैन बी यूज एल डॉट एड लेट से जहीर टेक वन मोर एल डॉट एड यू कैन टेक एनी नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स ओवर हियर विल टेक विराट सो नाउ फोर एलिमेंट्स हैव बीन एडेड टू माई आर एल एस्ट सॉरी इट शुड बी एड नॉट एड ऑन ओके now if i want to display i don't want to check whether these elements are stored properly or not i can use a for loop for each loop i'll use a for each loop int i in which al array int i in al is going to display all the elements of al al is of type string so i cannot take here int it should be string therefore it is giving me error int i in or we can take int s in al okay say sort control tab Uh, sorry control space you'll get this system dot out dot print ln here i want to print what i want to print all the elements of uh, my array list which is s so this for each loop is going to run incrementally as i explained in my previous video okay let us see by executing this you can click on this button you'll getting the out you'll be getting this output sachin raul zahir vira here you can uh, note that everything whatever output you are getting is in the order the way you have inserted it so the insertion order and the output order is same that means in array list everything will be inserted in that particular order only there is one more way of displaying elements of array list okay what is that way uh we have an iterator iterator for string i t equal to al dot iterator okay then we we can use a while loop while i t dot as next we are going to run a while loop while i t dot as next sys out i t dot next element print the next element i'll tell you uh, how exactly this uh, while loop is going to work let us uh, try to run it so again you are getting such a roll say okay let me uh, remove this part for loop for each loop because uh, it will create an ambiguity over here now here how iterator is going to work what is the difference between for each and iterator in iterator you create an object of iterator iterator is going to work like similar to a for loop okay it is going to uh, move its position one by one by the methods which you are using iterator as the name says it is going to iterate in your uh, collection it is going to iterate okay now iterator of what type of type string because i have created a type string al dot iterator on what collection on al object collection therefore it is al dot iterator now once this iterator starts pointing to this array location uh, this array list al then i can use methods inside iterator to process it or to display it mostly iterator are used for displaying purpose therefore there is a method called as as next as next is as the name says it is going to return a boolean value true or false it dot as next agar next element hai raha theek hai if there is a next element ठीक है देन इट इज गोइंग टू रिटर्न ट्रू इफ देर इज नो नेक्स्ट एलिमेंट इट इज गोइंग टू रिटर्न फॉल्स वेन एवर इट इज फॉल्स इट इज गोइंग टू कम आउट ऑफ दिस वाइल डू ओके सो इयर इन साइड इट सिस्टम डॉट आउट डॉट प्रिंट एल एन वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू प्रिंट हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू मूव टू द नेक्स्ट लोकेशन इट इज आई टी डॉट नेक्स्ट सो फर्स्ट इटीरेटर इज गोइंग टू पॉइंट टू सचिन आई टी डॉट नेक्स्ट सचिन विल बी प्रिंटेड Okay, then it dot next Raul will be printed as next. Yes, it is there. Zahir will be printed as next. Yes, it is there. Virat will be printed after that as next. After Vir Virat, there is no element. So here while loop is going to get a false statement. Once it is false, it is going to come out of this. 
so this is how iterator is going to work in uh, case of collections fine so you can see i i if i execute it once again you'll get the output such and rules i will that's it if you want to remove a particular element you can remove it al dot remove el dot remove i can give an index number or i can give the element also i want to remove zahir and to keep all the batsmen into my team so run it once again okay no there is no zahir over here okay if you want to run it once again you want to remove say check uh, you can do it after displaying also i'll remove from here and we'll have iterator once again after this removing this time let's say let us say we have it1 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 okay run it we have sachin rahul zahir virat first time second time we have removed zahir therefore it is sachin rahul and virat only fine now coming to this part so how many ways we can initiate collections you can pause here and re uh, rewind the video and check it the answer is three ways fine these are various methods available in array list uh, likewise i used add clear okay is empty contains there are way in number of uh, methods available in array list you can pause here and note take a note of this particular slide these are some of the references that i have used okay uh, even in if you come here even if you do al dot you can see all the methods which are available in collections these are all methods you can use okay thank you